John, as always, thanks for joining us um, to let the fans know how you've seen the game. Uh, what was your thoughts in the 90 minutes? Well, I thought we started very well, obviously, getting the goal early in five minutes, uh, but Kieran uh, took it really well. Uh, so, a, a really, really good start, and obviously we get a second goal, which is obviously reinforcing the good start, and again, Kieran... Uh, magnificent the way that he's taking the goal. You know, it's a good move, good move. We Dan putting uh, Dave McKay down the right hand side and the ball coming in, John Bear's involved in it, but Big Ziggy's, you know, showed a lot of confidence and a lot of ability to, to go around and stick it in and by you know the keeper. So uh, delighted with that. But I knew this game was never ever going to be easy because we'd done a lot of sort of homework on uh, Elgin and the two strikers are an absolute threat. And you know, young uh, Tony's brother uh, he's a decent player as well, and the boy Cameron in there in midfield, they're, they're good, good players. Uh, and, and they did not uh, surprise me at all how, how good they were. And their first goal was a, as good a strike as you'll see, it was a beautiful That's strike. Yeah. And of course, that makes it 2 1, and of course, everyone gets a little bit more nervous, you know. Uh, but we had other opportunities, you know, Big Ziggy had another chance in the first half, his right foot. Maybe he could have stuck it away and maybe we, we could have been three went up at half time, you know, in the balance of play, maybe we should have been. And then obviously second half, again, I thought we were in total control, really in total control. Uh, we were passing the ball well and uh, it was a little bit of a tactical battle because they sat in and just wanted us to give the ball away so they could hit us in the counter-attack because that's what they are. They're a very, very, very good counter-attacking team and they've got two strikers who are five on that and we knew that, we knew that. So they forced you to make a pass they be intercepted and then they hit you, and that, that's where they end up getting their, getting their, you know, their, uh, their second goal from. We're pretty, uh, pleased about Big Dave, the strike that he had for, for that goal, and then we had a number of opportunities to, to go and make it, we hit the post, we hit the bar, and of course you're that far away from making it like four or five, and there was other chances in there as well. So uh, we managed to get two or three, well the subs on as well, give them a run. But I did get a bit nervous when they've got the goal back, uh, which Obviously, we're not happy about, but we've done something that uh, Hibs under 23s, that Brecon, that Dundee, that Airdrie, all these teams couldn't do, and that was to beat Elgin. You know, so uh, I appreciate we're at the top of League One and they're fourth in uh, League Two, but I've just suggested to you that they're not that bad a side because they've just they're beating all these teams and. Uh, you know, we've done something they haven't done. And we're in the semi-final, and it's in February sometime, so it's on the back burner, it's something to look forward to, and we're very pleased with the fact that we're in the semi-final. A real compliment to the visitors that uh, even when they did go down to 10 men, they, they stuck with a game plan, and um, it didn't yeah. become a kind of kick and rush game, but certainly it was a game that was played in good spirits. Oh, well, very much so, very much so. I, I mean, I've not really seen the, 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 the uh, sending off again, you know, uh, I, I don't look for players to get sent off to be honest with you so I was, uh, I mean, I'd rather just stay with 11 players but uh, I was playing good spirit other than that you know and so uh, I was quite happy the way it was going you know we were passing ball quite well but as I say tactically they wanted to sit in after that and force us into making a pass that they could then counter attack on mm -hmm. and unfortunately at times we did fall into that trap and I know it becomes a little bit frustrating for the fans because they just want to see you as attack yep. but then that's what the opposition want you to do so that they can steal the ball and then hit you in the counter attack and uh, that is football you know and sometimes you've just got to be patient and we're knocking the ball across the back and of course they've got to run after it and of course then they get tired of you and hoping that's going to be the case you know uh, you open up you try to open them up and we did do that but we didn't cash in and then you pay the penalty for you know just a moment where they've managed to slip in yep. and we knew that because that's what they do week in, week out with regards to open up a defence, just, just out of nothing. So, you know, I would expect them at this stage in the season, November, they're sitting fourth. They'll have a, they might not catch Cove, but they're going to have a good say in pushing, you know, all the way to the end of the season. Dave McKay gets a, a goal, it's yeah. uh, the ball drops at an awkward angle, it's a really nice finish. He, um, he loves the TV cameras as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he got one against was it Queen of the South as well. Uh, very similar actually, you know, he strikes a good ball David when it comes to him and it lands and he just comes on to it, he actually strikes the ball very well, so I said that to him before the game as well, you know, he, he, he is actually good at that and he can do that and hopefully we do that tonight and he did, you know, and he did, so fair play to him, he's kind of in the team the last couple of games and he's uh, certainly, you know, done himself the world of good with regards to trying to stay in the team, but we've got, the squad's getting stronger now, tonight, if you look at the bench, we've got Louis Allen on the bench, Victoria's back on the bench, obviously we've got Grant Anderson, Tony Dingwall, 
you know, we've got a really, then we've got the younger lads, Don Tay, Jack Smith, you had Mikey Miller who can make the game tonight with his knee injury, uh, Reagan, uh, Jamie Gillen, Robbie Thompson's not far away now for staking a claim for, you know, for a jersey. We're, we're getting really getting strong. We're it's really getting strong, and that can only help the whole squad. You know, it's good for you to have that kind of problem looking at the bench and thinking, who am I going to give game time to? Do I go with the younger yeah. players and give give them a yeah. stretch of the legs, or do I go with the guys yeah. who are nearer the first eleven? Yeah. Um, good problem to have, John. Yeah, it's a good problem to have. Yeah, I mean, we've not always had that problem this year because of the injuries, and you know, you were always hoping the injuries are going to dry up at some point in time, and it looks like we're getting over them. And I touch wood, hopefully, we can continue to be, get over that. But it's going to make us very strong, and uh, that, that, as I say, that can only be good. Uh, I would mean, pr rather have the, that kind of problem than the ones we've had, where you're, you know, struggling, you know, with, with the injury situation and filling a bench and what have you. So it'll breed competition between the players, and they'll have to fight for a jersey. And I'm hoping that's just going to breed the fact that we're going to go and try and win more and more matches. You get out and watch any of the other games? Uh, yeah, I'll be travelling up to Peterhead tomorrow to watch Peterhead Montrose. And we'll be racing uh, back here. Kirkcaldy, I think we've got a semi final to look forward to. Yeah, Brilliant. February sometime, yeah. Thanks a lot, John. You're well. Thank you. Brilliant.